You're listening to the Czech Music Radio Show. Hello and welcome to our Czech Music Radio Show. I'm Lawrence Lewis here with a portrait of Argentinian soprano Anna Karolina Dies, who records for Slovakian label Pavlik. Anna Karolina studied in Argentina and in 2001 she received a scholarship from the Slovak government to study at the Bratislava Academy of Performing Arts, since which time she's based herself in Slovakia and performs in many European festivals and opera houses. As you'll hear, Anna Karolina Diz is not your average soprano, but one keen to discover repertoire that's seldom heard in recitals. By musical chance, it's also interconnected by way of her selected composers. That lively number, Cantheon de Paloma, came from the Zalzuela, El Barbarillo di Lavapi, The Little Barber of Lavapi, by Francisco Asenio Barbieri. It's set in a poor suburb of Madrid. Now, Zalzuelas are sometimes likened to a kind of Spanish Gilbert and Sullivan, with their mix of music and speech. They actually date back to the 1650s, well before Gilbert and Sullivan, eventually fading away during the 1950s. As you could hear in that extract, the infectious melodies are very much alive in this concert Anna Carolina Dies gave in Gran Canaria, with the Bratislava Symphony Orchestra, conducted by David Hernando Rico. By the 1930s, Zarzuelas had made it into the cinema. One of the most celebrated films of that period is El Dia Que Me Quieras, The Day That You Love Me, with music and lyrics by Carlos Gardel and Alfredo La Pera. Here's Ana Carolina Diz with its title song. Come 
Anna Karolina Dies with the Bratislava Symphony Orchestra, conducted by David Hernando Rico in that tango by Carlos Gardel and Alfredo La Pera. Seen on screen as a paperboy is a very young Astor Piazzolla, and you can catch him later in this radio show. It's worth noting that Gardel and La Pera died together in a plane crash in 1935. As recently as 2001, they would enter the Latin Grammy Hall of Fame. Now, as I noted earlier, Anna Carolina Dies is not your average soprano. Her South American background inevitably draws her towards composers from those countries. To celebrate the centenary of Alberto Ginastera, born 1916, she made a selection of his little-known songs and coupled them with Italian composer Francesco Paolo Tosti, died 1916. From that double centenary album, here's Zamba from Ginastera's five popular songs. Ginastera's Zamba, Anna Carolina Dies with Francesca Cardone. Anna Carolina began her studies at the Academy of Music Arts in Buenos Aires, graduating as a teacher. She then received an opportunity to go on a course at the famous Teatro Colón. So something in her mix of learning opportunities makes Anna Carolina Dies such an interesting singer, able to switch moods and musical styles with ease, as in this example from her double centenary album Tosti's L'Ultimo Bacio. Anna Carolina Dies and That Last Kiss by Francesco Tosti, words by Gabriele D'Annunzio, a beautiful song written in those edgy years before the First World War. In 2015, Anna Carolina Dies formed Camerata Tango with Vladimir Harvan violin, Branislav Bielik cello and Dushan Suyan piano. Her album of tangos by many of its great masters certainly evokes smoke-filled bars and dance halls.
Well, that passionate song, with no doubt equally passionate tango dancers, is Ernesto Lecuona's Desegnano. It's not every singer who can switch from Tchaikovsky, Verdi, Dvorak and Mozart to a tango, but that's Argentinian-Slovakian soprano Anna Karolina Diz. We'll end with tango maestro Astor Piazzolla's Jose Maria. Well, not really. So thanks to my tango partner, Devora Gattenio, who inspired our radio show. Now here's this number from Astor Piazzolla's opera Maria de Buenos Aires, composed in 1968, with Anna Carolina Diz and Camarata Tango. <laughs> You've been listening to the Czech Music Radio Show. Playlists and the CDs broadcast in this edition can be found on our website www.czecheverything.co.uk. This is the Czech Music Radio Show.